morning, everybody. Hello. Um, welcome to another homework week. And it's a bit different this week. We're live. In the wild. In the wild, under the shady tree of Shady Tree Stitches. And with me this week, we have in person Knitting Hat Stitches. Hello. And the lovely Michelle. Hi. So thank you for joining us. Uh, we're here to tell you what's happening this week. And oh, my goodness, it's a busy, busy, busy week in the challenge land. Is it? It is. Wow. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if it's going to be good, though, because Facebook doesn't like us. No. Um, lots of people having problems. But, you know, the main thing is take your staff photos, take your ending photos, get the stitches done. Keep it's a note. Yeah, keep a note. It's about the stitches, you know, we're here for. We're Absolutely. here to have fun and do our stitches. So the first group we're going to talk about um, is No New Starts because there's a couple of little things happening in No New Starts this week just to get you a heads up. Um, we have got changeover of the birthday sale, yeah. and it's really exciting. It's our birthday sale, yeah. so you can come and join us. What can we stitch for your sale now? Uh, you can stitch for me anything with a B or anything by Blue Flower. I am stitching on Blue F on the Sleeping Bee by Blue Flower. Um, yes. There's pictures on the mm -hmm. albums in there. Yes. We're not sure because this is our first ever live Facebook. We're not sure how things work with different things, so probably can't share my whips with you, but I'll try and get them up on my phone, <laughs> old school style. Um, for my birthday sale, you've got two choices, obviously houses. Um, so you can do Strawberry Fields by Blackbird Designs or anything by Blackbird um, Designs or the Abrasarts once, um, Fairy Tale Village, which is the one that's like, you know, nearly it's six huge. Foot long. I know it's as it's as long as a person is it's, tall. It's as long as I'm tall. So yes, yes. <laughs> it's huge. So yes, so that's what we can do for the birthday sale. That's starting on the sixteenth, which is in two days' time. Um, okay. Next one we've got is the the eighteenth. Now mm -hmm. it's also Carl's birthday. Uh -oh. Something about our admin team. <laughs> team birthdays. Team birthdays. <laughs> so um, she has some special tricks up her sleeve. So um, you'll just have to wait for that to come out. I can't wait. But um, it'll be out <laughs> on, the 18th, on the 18th. And as with all the new start events, they start at 5 p.m. your time on the date and they go 24 hours later to 5 p.m. on your time. It's an honesty system and you just stitch your stitches. Yeah. Now, as Lisa mentioned, we are here live in Shady Trees. And so before we get much further along, I would like to acknowledge that here today we are on Warrami country, um, which is north of Sydney where I live and it's east of where Michelle and Lisa lives. We're by the ocean um, and the Warrami people lived here. Well, they've been living here for thousands and thousands Ooh, of years it's the world's oldest living, living culture, culture so. that's right older than the egyptians yeah and they're not living anymore no no so there you go so that's where we are we yes. have beautiful shady tree yes. okay so that's no new starts and then we're going to go to the daily 30 which is having posting difficulties but what can we stitch this week we this week we are having sushi week so it's all about um, Japan, Japanese culture. Oh, look at this. I've got this lovely little hair. I know. On it's my yeah, it's great. I'll, I'll try and adjust. I'm a little bit <laughs> I'm a unicorn. Look at that. Oh, this is so funny. Oh, by the way, if you are watching live, say hello. Um, yes. Yeah. Give us a type. We'd yeah. love to see it. Yep. And, and we'll give you a little shout out. Uh, okay. First prompt for Daily 30. We have. The inspiration for sushi is thought to have started in East Asia. Narazushi, a fermented fish wrapped in sour rice, originated somewhere around the Mekong River before spreading into China and later Japan. Stitch on a whip, you can relate to the region of East Asia and it can be either the designer or the subject matter. Oh, well, that's good. So you could do a soda stitch or a... Um, the other designers that are from down there. That's right, but they mm. also have East Asian designs. Well, they've got, mm. yes, but I'm just thinking for people who want ideas yeah. of something that's that's going to come out. All right, I've got two, but I will go last. Michelle, do you have anything that's kind of East Asian? Well, there's a lot of islands in East Asia and beaches, and I think, uh, yeah, I'm not used to this. <laughs> 
Turn down your brightness if you have to. Turn down the brightness. Yes. Oh, why is that? Yeah, my, my album now. So. Now my phone's playing up. Give me a second, sorry. All <laughs> right. No, that's all right, shall I? You go. While all we're right, so I am going to be stitching on. Oh, I missed it. Oh, <laughs> I have it across. I am having a great time. Taps. There we go. So this is my, it's a Dimensions Design. I do apologise for the reflection. I'll try and find a good yeah. angle. There we go. That's sort of about right. Um I have been stitching on her most of yesterday and I got a lot done. She's looking good. She's looking great. Oh, by the way, the um, prompts have already started yes. for, for Daily 30. As usual, they start on Friday night our time. Mm -hmm. um, so we've already been stitching away on them, even though you can't see that. Um, and we also um, have no, no justification to have the experts on the matter. No. Which is just our opinion, and we say what we think we we see. Um, well, my East Asian one, Natalie, just because you showed that one, I'm just trying to find him. Is actually the oh, partner the samurai. My Lovely. samurai. And we have my bright. This is fine. Lovely. That's my samurai. Now he is the partner to me. That's right. And we are actually stitching them. If you hold yours up, we're going to stitch them together like that on one piece. Yep, like that. So they're going to so face, face each other. Each other. Here we go. So we're both, um, I'm stitching this one first, and when I finish, I'm passing it to Natalie. And this is actually our Shady, Shady Trees retreat piece, so it's very right. fitting. Look, I'll let you want to get that koala nose again. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, you, what you, how, you were talking about islands. Yes. yes. Oh, look beautiful. at that. It is a beautiful tropical yes. island. Oh, that could definitely be in Phuket or somewhere. Mm. Somewhere in, in, in Southeast Asia. Somewhere not here where it's cold. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there at the moment, too, but it's a beautiful island. True. Okay, number prompt number two. Sushi caught on originally as a cheap, quick snack to eat with the hands while enjoying a theatre performance stitch. On a whip, you can relate to the theatre. Okay, I am actually going to use my free pass for this one because I'm trying to use my pieces that I have stitched There's on. There's no need. No, 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 because I'm trying to stitch on my pieces I haven't stitched on yet. Oh. But if I was not using my free pass... I would use Pretty Little Sydney because the Opera House has beaters in it. Yep. So I would actually stitch on this one. And if I decide I need my free pass for something else, well, then I would you know, stick yeah. to that. But um, I'm trying to use my whips that I haven't used yet in June. So mm. um, that's where mine are. Okay, Michelle? I'm still looking, so All righty, I'm ready to go. Uh, May will come out again because... Uh, the geishas often performed theatre dances and things like that. Oh, she's a bit bright, but it's um, all right. She's okay. Yeah. Got any theatre? Anything I can think of is maybe once upon a time they're all dressed up like Peter. Oh, they could be oh, yes, definitely. Theater. Once upon a fairy tale, this one. Yes, yeah, sorry. That's right. I, can I always keep calling it Once Upon a Time. So Once Upon a Fairy Tale, they could be actors in the theatre in yes. Ham Hamlet or something. That's right. Yes, definitely. All right, what have we got next? Next, prompt number three, nori. Nori is the seaweed used to wrap sushi, and it was once scraped off wooden pier legs and even the undersides of boats. Yay, boat vegetation. The scummy substance was then pressed into sheets and dried in the sun. Sounds delicious. Today, nori is cultivated and farmed. Stitch on a whip you can relate to the sea. Okay, I've got one for this one that fits in. My Eric Dowdle lighthouse. Because to me, that's definitely the sea. It's like a little inlet on the side of the sea with all those sailing boats. So... I can work on that one. Right, Michelle? I have the Sunset Over Beach by Odyssey. Oh, no, definitely. Lovely. Say, that's definitely mm -hmm. see. That's beautiful. That definitely see. And for me, this is one. Bring out the bells. And Zach. And mm. there are ocean scenes up here and here. Oops. And a big... Uh, where is he? And Over the, here. And the sea-going vessels. And the sea-going vessels. Cool. Okay, number four, pufferfish, also known as fugu, is the most dangerous sashimi. It contains lethal amounts of poisons in its glands and organs. Stitch on a whip with something dangerous in it. 
Michelle, what have yes. you got that's dangerous? I have Tiger Reflections by Odyssey. Oh, and it's Reflections. It's, reflections. it's good. <laughs> Tiger, yes, is Tiger is definitely dangerous. Yes. Lisa? I have a lot of dangerous things, but it's a matter of saying, do I have a dangerous thing that I haven't yet worked on this year? And that is looking like a... Hmm. <laughs> what do you reckon? Would that be dangerous? Oh, dangerous for who? Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Anything um, with a spider? How's that? Yeah, but I'm trying to look at my ones that I haven't worked on. I've got heaps and heaps of dangerous things. Um, I'm thinking, I'm trying to find ones. Have you got anything with a cow in it? Cows are apparently the world's most dangerous animal. Well, I do, but no. <laughs> I'm going to stick to drop bear. <laughs> 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 One of Australia's most deadly animals to drop there. Hey, that's a koala. Glenna, if you're watching, that was especially for you. Yeah. <laughs> well, Hi, Glenna. We know you needed a smile. <laughs> um, I will be stitching. Well, I have stitched for this prompt, Anzac, because we've got uh, the great white shark there and we've also got our red back, look, our red back spider somewhere there. There we go. I have lots of choices for dangerous. So, number prompt number five. So, the last one. Sushi connoisseurs recommend that nigiri, a slice of fish atop a strip of rice, is best enjoyed by turning it upside down to place the fish side on the tongue. Stitch on a whip with something upside down. At least it doesn't say stitch on a whip while you're upside down. Oh. Well, that would be fun. Extreme stitching. I know. I know. <laughs> that wasn't fun. I didn't enjoy that event when we had it a while ago. No. What have you got that's upside <gasps> down, Michelle? Okay. Let's see if you can see this. On the side, there is some rosemary hanging upside down. I see it. Wall. I see yep. it. Yep. There we go. There it's we go. There. All right. You could definitely do that. I'm still looking upside to oh. Again, I have plenty of options. You do have plenty of options. It's just about a picky one that I want to work on. Oh, this come way. on, Lisa. Oh, I'm looking, <laughs> I'm looking, I'm looking. I'm trying to do the ones I haven't worked on yet. Yeah. Well, seeing as I finished it off, it's going to be Anzac because there was a spider hanging upside down. And we've also got possums and other animals hanging upside down along the top as well. And um, there's that possum hanging upside down, just there. Oh, upside down. Maybe I'll just go, oh, well, maybe there's something upside down. Upside no, down. No, no, daily I'm just going to stay away from my zombie runs. Yes. Um, hard. Usually I make you flip through. Nothing there. Nothing hanging from the tree, no bats hanging upside down. No. no. Wow. Uh, wow. A spooky one without being upside down. That's all right. That okay. is bizarre. Look, I'm sure I have something. I mean, I, I did come across one that I don't know if it would count as being upside down, but I've got to find where it was now. Mm. Oh, look, why don't I just take bite the bullet and go for my chatelaine? Yes. Because there's, the whole bottom section is upside down. Do it, do it, do it. There we it. go. My chatelaine, <laughs> any of those mandalas, because you have things going, you know, lots of those patterns that go all the way around. This, That's you know, right. These ones with houses that go all the way around. Super. And that's it for Daily 30. Of course, you've got the 30 minutes to stitch on whatever project you like every day, or at least five days out of the seven. So keep going with that. Thank you so much to the ladies of Daily 30 who's yes. put together the prompts. Um, we, oh, it is. Mm, mm, yes. Sorry, you just you just dropped my I memory. I have just reminded yes. you of something. They do a great job and they've changed things up this month. Thank yes. you, Natalie, for prompting my memory to say that. You're welcome. <laughs> I don't know if that's where you're headed, but that's what prompted me. From June, there is no longer alternate stitches for the weekly and I think the monthlies. I think they already cancelled the monthly. So if you do not have a prompt with something upside down, then you don't get the tokens unless you go and find a part, pattern. That goes totally against no new starts. But, hey, we open to all people on this video. Um, so you 
you don't get the prompt. You can't do alternate unless it's to do with watching media or listening to music because some people have streaming problems and can't get the shows or whatever. So unless it's to do with a media challenge, you don't have any alternate stitching options anymore. Okay. So you, no penalty stitches. No, if you can't stitch it, you don't get it. No, which is cool because, you know, you're only with tokens for doing the challenges and, you know, it's one of the few groups around that is specific. So it's it's joys that that it is specific, and I love it because it guides what I stitch each one. How many stitches I do gets guided by everything else, but what I stitch on is dictated by these prompts. Yeah, yeah. That's a big up. Welcome. Okay, um, so there's lots and lots and lots happening in the other groups. Um, Crystal Academy is starting its new term, so if you're still wanting to join in, I think you've got like one more day. Um, to jump in and join that so head on over and join a dorm um, it's a lot easier this term or this year whatever it's called um, you have to nominate six pieces to work on and you're going to be working on them for twice in the the weeks coming there is still going to be the the field trips and the random pop-up events and battles Hi, we're just talking about you <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah if you're um if you've got the different stitch, if you've got the different pieces happening, um, it's it's really good because it's going to get you working on those. And then there's one more as well with that that you can do extra credit. So you nominate one piece and you can stitch on that as much as you want for extra credit. And every thousand stitches gets you. Oh, you imagine know. how much you can get oh, done on that. I'm looking That's forward really to it. Good. So for me, yeah. I know I'm the only one here in my stitching time because I really want to get a lot done on that and um, that's mm. just going to be my extra credit. So it's going to be getting a lot of love and it's already going to be used more than um, than than the zombie run. So it's really good. Yeah, good. Yeah, so that's what's happening in Crystal Academy. So there's still time to jump in if you want to, um, but you are in a team. So most of these events I'm talking about are actually team ones. So if you're the sort of person who doesn't like letting other people down um, or you're not sure how you're going to go, um, team events need a reliable person. Don't necessarily need consistent, consistent yeah, and you yeah. need to communicate with your team. Yeah. So um, the stitches, survival of the stitches group, um, I have heaps of fun in that, and it's fairly intense. We're in a group of fifteen, and we've got to collect a surprise every day. But this week they've just launched two things. Um, we had a choice to nominate ourselves for a bit of an adventure, and so three of my team have gone off on the adventure, including me, and I have to do about 750 stitches a day for the next four days, Ooh. which is fine, but wow. it's a big thing. And they, they just set it up yeah. front, don't do it if you can't do yeah. that. Um, everyone else back at home is doing chasing rats. <laughs> I was actually enjoying being over here at the beach. There's no mice. No mice. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, so that's heaps of fun. Um, and, of course, that group is still open and you can join it. Someone was asking me for the link. They were in the last week's homework video, I think, or the one before. I'd, I'd link them all there. And I won't be putting any links in this because I'm, you know, first time doing a live, I have no idea what to do anyway. So We've got no idea what we're doing. What you're going to see is, is great. hopefully you'll see it. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. Um, and then um, the there's um, Pirate Shipper. And we are sailing across the oceans, and my little ship has just run into a bunch of pirates, and we have to battle five pirates at three and a half thousand damage by like health each. So that's How seventeen stitches, dear. seventeen thousand five hundred stitches between us. But we can bring it down with weapons and things that we collect. Okay, right. Um, but they've already attacked us and caused six hundred um, health damage to us. Ooh, ooh, Luckily, um, there's another really fairly easy one to do which is called handcrafted pioneer and that one you're in a in a house as well and you just basically there's daily tasks and you you know you feed your sheep and you feed your cow and you milk your cow and you you know plant your, your seeds and that's a really good one if you're a bit more of a relaxed stitcher and you just want to do one or two things towards the group it doesn't seem too over demanding um, a couple of hundred stitches is all you need a day for that so there's plenty of options out there um yeah, check them out if you're interested in doing something. But what I love is it keeps me motivated and moving along with my stitches. And then we have Supernatural Stitching, which is the other one we talked about here yep. um, that has specific blog prompts. And Luke messaged me particularly to say this is one of her favourite episodes this week. Um, and so much so she had 32 prompts that she came up with. 32? <laughs> she, she narrowed them down. Oh, oh. thanks, Luke. <laughs> 
as always, this is one about you stitching by yourself. So this is one if you don't want to rely on anyone else, if you don't want anyone relying on you, you just want to do your own thing, do Supernatural because it, it just tells you what to stitch and it's pretty broad and you only have to do the ones you want to. You don't have to do them all and you stitch whatever hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, Hannah, Lutie. Um, oh my goodness! Um, yeah, she's um, so she's got twelve prompts, and you you just make your own price, and you can use it towards stash at the end of the year. So for me, I do one bullet is a dollar, um, I think so. A hundred stitches is a bullet, so I get a dollar for every hundred stitches I do. Uh, my biggest problem is remembering to go and post them. I do the stitching, <laughs> just but I use it, and I just use one piece per prompt because you can do however many hundreds you feel like. So if I've done 700 on one piece, that's just one prompt for me. Mm -hmm. there's, there's no benefit for me getting it into this prompt and that prompt, but you can do it whatever you like. And she's pretty chillaxed about making them fit. So we are Season 4, Episode 17, It's a Terrible Life, Edible. Ooh, okay. I have got things with food. Let's see. Um. No, they're not. Oh, yeah, they are. These look like strawberries. Okay. okay. I've got my Newcastle book by Teresa Co. Here it is. When we zoom in on some of the corner bits, you can see down the bottom the littlest ones. They oh, look yeah. like strawberries. Yep, I'd accept them as strawberries. What about you, Michelle? Uh -oh. I have candy down the bottom. Yeah, yummy, yummy candy. Not to mention the, and the pumpkins. pumpkins. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we miss the most obvious ones. <laughs> well, I'm going to work on this one this week anyway. Oops, yeah, she's going to turn around. This is my little house um, gardening lady, and those carrots are definitely edible. Definitely. So mm. I would be working on the edible carrots. Number two, we don't need to. As always, there's one prompt every week to do with words, and it's any letter that's the first letter of the designer. First or last name, the design company, or the title. The piece. All right. Letters in lemon, cayenne, and maple syrup. Mm. If you cannot find something that fits in with L E M O N C A Y D M. Oh, no, I have the end. Yep, just P. P. Uh, S U R and R. <laughs> There's a lot of letters. <laughs> There's an awful lot of letters. Like surely something will fit in with that. So we're not going to talk about it here, but lemon cayenne and maple syrup. Make it fit. Okay, the next one. Stitch on a project that shows technology of any era. Technology Ooh. of any era. Gold London is Full of technology. We've got buses, tube, um, there's lighting, um, all sorts of things. Well, I'm going to jump in on Michelle just because she's looking and doubling up on the one I'm going to do anyway, the lighthouse. Have we paused? Uh, no. Okay. No, the lighthouse. I just came up with a message. Okay. Um, the lighthouse is definitely um, important technology for navigation. Yeah. Not mm. to mention the and, and chip, yeah. chip safety. Yeah. So my lighthouse would definitely be um, mm -hmm. able to double dip for that. Cool. What about you, Michelle? You got anything? Technology, technology. You can pass. Yes. Yeah, so, um, there's farmhouse Christmas. You have your car. Oh yeah. And, and the Ute. Yeah. Mm. Oh sorry, the truck. The truck. The Ute. farm truck. It's a Ute. That's mm -hmm. a Ute. It's a flatbed Ute. Okay, the next one we've got is stitch on a project that includes a weapon and doesn't have to be a firearm. Ooh. Now, I already know what you're going to use for this. So I can get it up for you. Well, I could use that. Oh. I, that is one. And I've got this one too. Oh. She's got a different one here. Michelle would like to use a lightsaber. <laughs> that is so cute. I love that. It is have you been stitching on that for long? Uh, yeah, a while now. Yeah. I started last year. Yeah. Yes. Oh, then you start. I love it. I love it. Um, Anzac. So we've got the Bush Ranger Ned Kelly. Oh, yeah, he's got With his guns. Yes. Yep. With his pistols. Well, 
the first came to my mind was my Once Upon a Fairy Tale with the um, archer and his. Oh, good one. And that's yes. what I thought Michelle was going to do. So there's lots of weapons, but it's any sort of a weapon. It doesn't have to be a gun. So mm-hmm. if you can explain a weapon, you know, you should be pretty. Think of think of all the weapons that are used in Clue. Mm. Candlesticks. Yes. yes, that's true. Oh, that's, a good, yes. that's a good one. Now. Right. Yeah. Wands. Yeah. yeah. Wands. Yes. Not yes. in Clue, but. No, 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 no. Harry Potter. Yes. yes. I, I knew where you were going there, Michelle. <laughs> There's Harry Potter over here. Yeah. We all love Harry. A project that includes an object made of iron. Mm. An object made of iron. Um, let's see. I reckon I could use my lighthouse. Yes. Wow. Lighthouses are good. But oh, oh, it. things that are made of iron. Um. On a golf club. Oh, and it could also be used as a weapon. Golf clubs. Ah, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Literally a seven iron or a yeah. whatever iron. Um, I am thinking, I don't know exactly what, but in my Odyssey castle, I'm sure iron is in something there. Yeah. Um, you know, it might be in the um, cooking pots. Or the chains, yeah, or the chains in the um, the chains in the dungeon would be iron. Mm-hmm. Are they irons? <laughs> oh, the irony. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I mean, got iron that flat. Uh-huh. <laughs> I reckon you can do a play on word. I game, we have no say on it. Um, what do you got? Anything? Mm. What is knight's armor made of? Iron would be pretty heavy. Well, Ned Kelly's helmet. Ned, was, Ned Kelly's helmet was made of iron. I, I think you possibly could have knight's armor from iron. I think they, parts of it. There would be parts of of iron maybe in the um horse horse armor. So in the in the metal mm. work around what the about, mouth. What about sword? and swords? Swords. Mm. Swords. Yeah. I'm just thinking of once upon a yeah. Um, fairy once upon tale. a fairy tale. I, that would be my yeah. guess for that too. Yeah. Mm. All right, the next one, stitch on a project you've done before or had to restart. Yep. Yep. Done before or had I to had restart. to restart St Andrews. So there we go. Oh, wow. I did a restart program ah. that I used to chart it and I wanted to be change able to over. change it over so that, I could, so that it would be compatible to Patent Keeper. Aha. Uh-huh. That's a good plan. Mm-hmm. I've got one of his behind. Horses shoes. Thank you, Hannah. Ah, thank you, Hannah. <laughs> Help from the audience. I like this live. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I think I can only do it when I'm in person. But <laughs> it's all good. Go okay. for it. What have we got? I have Joy Love Peace. I already stitched it for me and now I'm going to stitch it for presents. There we go. Awesome. I have one that I'm actually going to have to restart. I haven't restarted it yet. But my... I went to do the border around her and the little girl in the middle and the border are stuffed up. So I'm going to have to frog so much. I may as well just restart her. Yeah. Like it's going to be easier to just restart her. So, um, yeah, that will that will be good. Mm. All right. Stitch on your project that was the most expensive to kit up. Mm, that would be a Mirabilia. Um, not for me. <laughs> no, not for you, because I don't do. I haven't started any chatelaines, but um, there are plenty of jewels. Oh, in Shakespeare's fairy, where did they go? Here they are. There's my fairies. What about you, Michelle? What have you got that's expensive? Nothing that's overly expensive. No, I know you're. No, good. We'll you're just a, go with a. I once upon a million prices for for DMC at like a dollar fifty a skein. Yeah. Um, and there's 256 colours plus multiples of some of them. That's rather expensive for us. Yeah. yeah. Hence why I now use CFC because it's a lot more affordable. Um, and for me, obviously, my Chatelaine. Yeah. Which is not jumping out now, but you saw it a minute we ago. We saw it before. Okay. Um, it's on a project with a lion or other animal in the feline genus. I instantly, of course. Angel Lion Lamb because it's a lion. Mm. Did a lot of work on that a few weeks ago, so it may or may not be done. Yep, I'm back to my tiger. But that's good because the point is you're double dipping on that one. That's yep. the point. Um, 
Now, one that I haven't stitched on a lot this year, but I really want to, is Night Walks Down. Yep. I cool. do want to get that out again. And it's a blue flower, so I can kind of double dip it with my own birthday sale back in your new stuff. So that's all right. Perfect. All that that works. I mean, some of these prompts we get in other places, so yeah. you sort of already know what you, what's your go-to for these certain mm. things. Mm. I have several, but I'll go for that one. Oh, oh no. She's going to keep ringing. There is fire in the fireplace. There is fire mm. in the fireplace. Just let me message her. She doesn't keep ringing me. Ah, oh, the joy is of life. No, she doesn't. She doesn't know I'm live. No. <laughs> she doesn't. I've just messaged her to say filming. Hopefully she knows that means oh, stop ringing because she tends to ring and ring and mm -hmm. ring and mm -hmm. ring and mm -hmm. ring. Um, so the lanterns in the Shakespeare's fairy that I showed before would have fire yeah. or flames lighting those. Yes. And, and look, I, I wouldn't be using this for two prompts, but there's lots of live flames mm -hmm. in my artist cast. Mm. So yeah, there's lots of things. Anything with a candle, mm. I think once upon a fairy tale. How many stitches tales, do you yes. need to do for these? You parts? do however many you want. Oh. Nice. So a hundred. Mm. So if you're doing a hundred, done. If you're doing seven hundred, you get seven. Oh, that's, that's what I mean. Great. It's really good. It's that doing your own thing, mm. and it's it's really relaxed. That's mm. why I like it. I think some people don't like it because of the the topic matter, but it's just like little prompts. You know, it's just yeah. easy. If you want to have a guidance and a bit of direction, yeah, you know, why not? Um, the next one, stitch on a project with a medical theme. Oh, yes. <laughs> the medical I theme. I have. Oh, where's it gone? Okay. My witchcraft supply oh. has mm -hmm. um, potions yep. and books, and it's also got a skull mm -hmm. there. Yep. Yeah, so this is not craft okay. studio. I think that would that would pay yeah. pay for medical theme. Yep. Anything for you, Michelle? No, I don't think alcohol counts as medical. It can be. Well, medicinal. Um, I'm going to go on a limb. My herb garden. Oh, great! Yes. Because oh. yes. herbs of garden. I want to work on it. Well, there we go. And you've got herbs hanging upside down. I do. Yes. In, in that. Yeah, yeah. Sorting, and, and, and hat. sorting hat thing, yeah. which has another name, and it's not a sorting hat. We just call it that because it looks like it. <laughs> yeah. All right, two more to go, guys. Two more. Um, put at least one day on a project you're considering UFOing in case it helps your decision making. And I think this is a wonderful prompt yeah. because sometimes when you're thinking of UFOing something, you put it away for a while and you come back and you go, actually, yeah, that's not so bad. Oh. Yeah. 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 Um, so something that you're considering your phone gives you a chance to, you know, do it a bit more. And and for me, I'm not really considering your phone, no. but but I would probably do those forty kill ones. Mm, mm. And they'll get me back into doing them. Yep. Um, Spring Garden for me by Blackberry Rabbit. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I've made a mistake in there, and if I if I work at it, I might be able to work around. Cool. What about you, Michelle? Any UFOs for you? The only one I've actually shown it a couple of times, and it is Tiger Reflections, and it yep. occurs. So but I don't anything. like the black hater. Yeah, well, that's a mm -hmm. good reason to think mm -hmm. about UFOing it or restarting. Yeah. Cool. All right, lucky last. Stitch on a project that was a gift to you or that you intend to FFO as a gift to someone. Oh. Um. I've got several because oh, yes. I do a lot of gifts for people. Okay. you got the same. You're going to have the yeah. same. Maybe it's not that one. Mine is Blue Flower, Sleeping Bee. I'm going to give this to my brother when it's done. Don't tell him. Shh, shh. I don't even watch my question. <laughs> um, mine will be the samurai because my samurai was actually a gift from Michelle okay. and I'll be gifting it to Natalie. Yes. The pattern when it's the finished, chart. Yes. not the actual piece. I know oh. it's on that piece, but the, a double way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. What yeah. about yeah. you? Any, any Peter is going to be from my little godson. So We've got to see him again. He's so yes. cute. So dainty. Very yeah. cute. All right.
Well, that, people, is the week. So lots happening. Yes. Um, uh, Semi-sane as well. There's a couple of things with Semi-sane that are rolling over. Um, you can do letter M in your album of it. So I'm up to J. <laughs> I've got a fair Come on, Lisa. Up. Well, it's a zombie run piece, so it'll I catch know. up when it I get will. there. And it, it's also much oh. juice to stick on something with an alcoholic drink, which for me is my stitching shelf, which is good because it's a zombie run and I want to get lots of work done on it. So, yeah. 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 Right, well, thank you for joining me. Look, hopefully this first live. Thanks, Hannah, so much for joining in. Um, we look forward to catching you guys another time, but um, we'll see how this works out. Hopefully it works and hopefully it gets posted. So have a great week stitching. Bye. Bye, Bye everyone.